I had to go clear to Illinois to find somebody had anything good to say about me. Hell of a thing. <laughs> Now, I'm not a smart man or a wise one. I don't know what kind of man I am. <laughs> I was always restless, thought I'd see the world. But I didn't go nowhere on purpose because I did something I was, uh, I was ashamed of, something I could never fix. Y'all probably think you know what you do or what you wouldn't, and I wish you good luck with that. I really do. When I told Charlie what I'd done, he told me to confess to God, the law, and to somebody else so as I could get forgiveness. But I, I didn't want forgiveness, no. I needed to hold on to what I did, to be sick from it every day of my life so that I never told nobody else. You see, nobody. I fell in love with a married lady, and somehow she fell in love with me. The only time that I have been in love, we made a plan to run off and start a new life family. But somehow, she didn't show up when we said we'd meet, and I got a funny feeling. Her husband answered the door. He had blood on him. I hit him pretty hard and knocked him down. I can't remember going upstairs. I remember there's a hammer on the steps that was covered with blood and hair. And I found her in the bedroom crawling across the floor. But before I could get to her and help her up, a kerosene lamp hit the wall and exploded. And then her husband, he jumped my back. Oh, I had him. Ooh, I had him. I had him. Oh. But it's funny what happens sometimes when things go wrong. It's like the clock stops. You have all the time in the world to think. I could see that her husband had set the downstairs on fire before he came up. You see? And as I was slamming his head into the wall, trying to get shed of him, it came to me clear as anything that this was all my fault. If I just never spoke to her. And I was, I was thinking about that. I could see the lamp that he threw had set the room we were in on fire, too. And then I realized that, whew, that I was on fire. Whoosh. Tried to put myself out, I couldn't. I dropped him, I turned around, and I was so confused. And I looked down, and I saw her lying on the floor, and I called out her name. You know her name, Maddie. Mary Lee, sometimes I called her Mary Lou for fun. And then I call out her name again, and I... I could see. That my only love and your sister was on fire. And, uh... Oh, I'm so ashamed. I'm so ashamed. I reached down and I, 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 I tried to help her up. And the next thing I knew, I was flying, you see.
I don't know how I got out the window. No matter how many times I play it in my mind, I can't remember jumping. I thought I killed him. Maybe he pushed me. I don't know. And I swear to you, if I left her in there, everything I know about myself is a lie. But that don't matter. That don't matter. I didn't get her out a little bit. I didn't. I'm sorry. And that's my story. I would like forgiveness now, if possible. And then I, I don't mind dying for real next time. But please forgive me. <laughs>